Hi friends, it's Golda Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a minute. It has been a hectic couple of weeks for me, um, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but I'm so happy to do this video today and to show you guys a little bit more about tutorials and different accounts and websites that I recommend when you're looking for a tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have had some of you ask if I'm gonna be doing tutorials on my channel about like SolidWorks and things like that. And the answer is I'm not going to because there are tons of resources out there online. So I'm gonna walk you guys through my top four resources for doing tutorials and just kind of resources in general when you're trying to really understand a software or a subject. So kind of what I mentioned earlier, um, it's been a hectic couple of weeks. That's because I had finals for my first quarter of grad school and I had a really big presentation that I kind of mentioned in another video. I had that this past week. So finals and big presentation. So just prepping for that the week before and then having that last week um, kind of made it, I made that my priority and not so much social media. So I kind of took a little bit of a break, but I am back ready to give you guys more content. And um, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the four resources that I recommend when trying to look for tutorials and just some tips in general. And then as a reminder, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you really, really like the video, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you always know when I post a video. And if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Um, I post more daily on there so you guys can always get a little bit of an update more regularly on Instagram compared to YouTube. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the resources. So the first account I want to talk to you guys about, it's called SolidWorks Tutorials with Ryan. He's on YouTube and does tons of tutorials for SolidWorks and he seems to post pretty regularly. What I think is really important for looking for tutorials online is just that they are newer tutorials. So depending on, let's say you're using SolidWorks 2021 or 2020, you don't want to be using a tutorial for SolidWorks 2018. Not that it's changed that much, but it can change and there are certain aspects of it that can change. So when you find tutorials, try and make sure that they are the newest version or at least the version you're using um, for your software. So he has tons of videos on here and we're just going to kind of take a look through some of them. But as you can see, he goes into really good detail um, in terms of the modeling for the SolidWorks. So, and tons of examples on here. I will go ahead and leave all of the links to all the channels and resources down in the description box. So be sure to check those out and go ahead and support them. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for them, like their videos, all that kind of stuff. So my second resource really depends on what software you're using. For instance, for SolidWorks, the actual website has a ton of tutorials that are available for free to any user. So if you are struggling and trying to figure out a project with any of your softwares, like I know AutoCAD does it as well. Um, all of the different like CAD softwares offer their own kind of tutorials on their website. So you don't really need to rely on finding something on YouTube. You can kind of just go straight to the software's website and go ahead and check that out. So as you can kind of see here, we see a whole bunch of different tutorials. You can filter depending on your version, also by your language and kind of what categories you're interested in learning a little bit more about. So I hope that kind of helps you guys out when you're thinking about your software. This is not limited to SolidWorks. I just know that a lot of you guys ask about SolidWorks since I work with SolidWorks a lot. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys out. Next up, my, my next two resources are focused more on understanding different subjects and concepts in general. So my third resource is called MIT Open Courseware. MIT, you know, being the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a well-renowned university and research center, has tons of free resources online that include tons of different subjects. So these are all free resources. You know, your lectures that you'll be watching might be a little bit older, you know, they're using some older technology. You can just kind of see it. Um, but I think these are great resources and really giving you an, an understanding or even further developing your knowledge of a certain subject. And you can even filter by like the different categories or different subjects that you're kind of looking for. So if you're focused on mechanical, you can kind of work your way down, so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. I kind of just wanted to show you guys the mechanical engineering one. Um, you can go into engineering dynamics and really, you know, see different videos. It has the features, the course description. And I think this is just a an amazing resource, a free resource for people who might be struggling with a certain subject and really want to know a little bit more or kind of just do a quick review, whatever works for you. But 
there are so many different subjects within MIT OpenCourseWare that I highly recommend you guys check it out if you don't already know about it. And my fourth resource for you guys is of course Khan Academy. I love Khan Academy. I encourage my tutoring clients to check it out. I even encourage some of my classmates who need a little bit of a refresher on a certain subject to go ahead and check it out. It is a great resource. Now it doesn't have a ton of let's say mechanical engineering stuff. They do have a little bit of electrical stuff, electrical engineering stuff. Um, but in terms of really college material, I think they're still working on that to be honest, but they have, you know, your AP courses. So for those of my viewers who are in high school, go ahead and check that out when you're, you know, going through your AP courses or even just your general courses for math, science, and other subjects like that. It is really helpful. They have quizzes. I even know of some high schools in the local area that are having their students kind of do challenges on here and do some coursework on here. Like I said, it is a great platform. It's free. You can donate to Khan Academy. Um, I know sometimes they'll have the pop-up that comes up. That's totally up to you. In general, it is a free resource that you can link and have an account, save all of your work and all of that. So I, I love Khan Academy. I think it is a great resource. I use it for tutoring and always recommend clients to use it. So if you just take a look, you can see kind of the general overview. They have, you know, all the way from pre-K to college, going into your APs, they have some computer programming, comp sci, um, even some electrical engineering. You can just kind of see it. it's it's amazing. You're also able to link your SAT score because they have a deal with College Board where if you link your SAT score, they can kind of go through everything. And I think you can also do it without linking um, and kind of just run through some practice. I think, again, a great resource. It is amazing. I wish it was kind of more set up like this when I was in school, but overall, I just love the platform. It has grown so much and they have so many resources. Um, this is not sponsored by any way by any of these resources. These are just things that I know in my comment section, I get a lot about like, oh, can you do a tutorial? And I'm not going to be doing tutorials on my channel um, because there are just tons of resources already available for free all throughout the internet. So go ahead and check that out. So in general, I hope you guys enjoyed these four resources. I hope you guys use them or at least check them out. Go ahead and comment down below if you have other free resources or some channels that you kind of want to tag for other people to see. Keep in mind, I was looking for channels that kind of keep their um, videos up to date and their software up to date, just because again, that's really valuable when you're going through school you want to focus on that so again just a reminder if you guys like today's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you really really like the video go ahead and hit that notification bell because I do post videos every single week so I hope you guys like this video um, I just wanted to give you guys some free resources since I'm not providing tutorials on my channel but again I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to comment down below I love interacting with you guys and would love to see what other resources you guys found on the internet so so I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.